Claire from Simply Real Health. I've got a story for you guys today. Ten years ago, my life looked nothing like it looks now. I'd wake up every morning, counting my protein, measuring out my carbs for the day. I basically lived off of Kashi Goline cereal, balance bars, broccoli and carrots, I think for a lot of years of my life. Oh, and coffee too. Until the next diet came out, and then soon I was on to that one. I didn't tell anybody about it at the time, but I was completely obsessed with healthy eating, or what I thought to be healthy eating at the time. You see, back then, my definition of healthy eating was really whatever I was currently reading at the time. Every single diet book, any single you know fitness magazine I could get my hands on, even nutrition textbooks, I was trying to crack the code. I was trying to figure out the one right way to eat that would solve all of my problems, basically so that I could eat and not think about it, and eat and never gain weight, right? I became totally obsessed. It was literally all that I could think about. All of that measuring, the pre-portioned out meals, the calculating, whatever I was like counting at the time, and all of those do's and don'ts. They were just taking up so much space in my head, but I didn't even know it at the time. I thought that was normal. So after years, as you can imagine, it only got worse. All of that research and all of that reading was starting to conflict with each other. This food thing was confusing. <laughs> Why did other people not seem to have a problem with it? I mean, I guess there were people that like didn't need to think about it at all. They could eat whatever they wanted, but I was never one of those people. How come nobody else is stressed out about trying to figure out what to eat to have the perfect body and the perfect life? That's what I thought in my head. Was I the only one? I'll tell you literally what a week would be like in my head at the time. It would go something like this. Should I be eating low fat or was it low carb better? What about stevia? What about um, all the sugar-free stuff? Was that better than real sugar? Is fruit okay for you? What about dried fruit? Is meat bad for you? How about eggs? Did they give you high cholesterol? Or was eating only the egg whites, did that cancel that out? Was Kashi Goline cereal the best one in the aisle to buy, or should I just be eating oatmeal? Or was there something better? Was soy milk better than non-fat milk? What should I order when I go to Starbucks? What about like when people wanted to go out to eat and I didn't really want to, but like if I could choose the restaurant, what would be the healthiest restaurant? How about cheese? Was that okay? It seemed to be in a lot of different like plans. But what about healthy dessert options? Was there any that I could have or should I just completely avoid it all forever? But then what about when I crave chocolate? What does a typical day look like if you're being healthy and you want to be like fit and look great? How much protein should you be eating in a day? What if you don't like to drink water? Is sparkling water okay? Or what about some of those other like drinks that are around? Is Diet Coke better than regular Coke? Or is regular Coke better? Or Coke Zero? Or Coke One? Hmm. What about pasta? Was wheat flour better? Or angel hair because it had fewer carbs? What about juice cleanses? What would be the perfect thing to eat in a week if you like wanted to lose five pounds? Um, how many carbs should you eat in a day? Um, is it okay to eat the same thing every day? What about, is it better to be a vegetarian or a vegan? Maybe I'll try both. What about going out to eat? Or like, what should you get? What's a good snack? Reduce fat wheat thins or pita chips because of the fiber? Is champagne better for you? It seems like it'd be fewer calories, but what about white wine or red wine? Isn't that supposed to be healthier for you? Or maybe it's vodka sodas. Is there anything that you can eat on a happy hour menu that would be fine and wouldn't make you like blow up like crazy? Does this sound familiar to anybody? This was literally my world. No joke. Healthy eating was kind of stressful and a little bit overwhelming. But I didn't think that there was another option if I wanted to take care of myself and find if I truly admit it to not gain any weight and to not get fat. Everything I had learned in school like didn't seem to work either. That's why I even went down the route of all the dieting. But my world completely changed forever. I was on a trip to Europe and I was panicked about that at first. With 24 hours a day of being surrounded by pizza and pasta I, and not being able to work out. But when I was there, I noticed that the Italian women didn't freak out about food at all. They were like peaceful and relaxed, like chill, right? 
They were sipping wine, and I am 100% certain there was no thought in their head as to like how many calories was in that. They would sit and eat pasta too, just midday, calm as a cucumber, nothing happened. What did they know that I didn't know? Obviously, it was something. I was totally fascinated. I didn't know it back then, but that was my intro into real food and the beginning to the end of my crazy. Since then, nothing has been the same. Literally everything in my life changed once I started learning about the simple, beautiful magic of real food and how it was completely opposite everything I had ever learned up until that point. Why? Because food is life. And I didn't connect those two things before, but your relationship to your food can't not affect every single aspect of it, both physically, mentally, emotionally, and relationally to others too. It's all connected. So you might as well learn how to make it as simple and seamless as possible, right? Real food is the key to this. It was the golden nugget and the thing, the missing piece that I'd spent so much money and so much time and so many years of my life trying to figure out. But the best part is that this is something that would simplify your life, not complicate it. Once I found that out, I was like sold. Once you think about real food, it, it creates this much different energy because it's actually a lifestyle that you can keep up with over time and for good. It's like all of the good stuff without the stress, the confusion, and the overwhelm anymore. Learning about real food, the details and the specifics, is something that you only have to do once in your life for everything to start shifting and changing. And once you learn it, you can't forget it because it's so much more freeing and fun than any other way you've been taught to look at food. Trust me, I know this from experience. And since the moment that I have that real food has come into my life, my life has shifted in so many beautiful ways. Because of that, and that's why I've made it my mission here at Simply Real Health to help as many other people as possible do the same, to leave the crazy behind and go on to a better, more fulfilling, happier life. That's why today I'm so excited to announce the Game Changing Program. It's something I've been writing for years and is a way to get as many people as possible access to this information that can really change your life in such a short amount of time. This fall, I'm launching a one-of-a-kind program. It's the Simply Real Health Real Food Academy, your stress-free guide to living a happy, healthy, and beautiful life made simple. It's three weeks of everything you need to know about real food in the real world that until now was only available for my private one-on-one -on -one clients and through the big group program that's only happening three times a year. It's everything that you need to know about a happy and healthy life without the fuss. I literally walk you through the exact steps of what you need to know what you can totally ignore, and there's a lot of that, and how you can navigate every sort of real life situation and navigate it so much easier with real food. No matter where you are, if you're on an airplane, um, if you're at coffee, at happy hour, on a trip or a vacation, or even for a friend's birthday dinner, it all relates and there's a way to do it. This is like an automatic brain download from my head to yours, but in a fun and entertaining way. It's almost like we're sitting down and having coffee together. But the best part of all, it's all at your own pace. I know that you guys are busy and so am I. So this program is written entirely in a way that you can take the lectures, their podcasts with you on the go. There's all kinds of helpful videos that you can take at your own time to help you with eating and cooking and shopping. And the fun stuff too, breaking down things like dessert and coffee and wine, and really what the best way to think about all of these things in our modern world. Because one thing is for certain, and this is why I wrote the program, that unless you take the time to teach yourself about real food in an unbiased way, you will never learn. And that's the thing that I had to learn the hard way. The marketing industry and the diet industry is crazy, and that's really the only way we ever learn about food. But learning to eat is a life skill. It's literally the best gift that you could ever give yourself in your life, and especially so if you have other people relying on you for their food too. Because once you know about real food, what follows after is freedom, clarity, and joy of food. And a calmness about choosing your food that really doesn't exist anywhere else. And I think that's the most important thing. And now you can have it to all at your own pace for a fraction of the cost of what it's been before. 
you'll finally learn what your body's been saying to you, sometimes for the first time ever, and how to live in the modern world no matter where you are, what you do, and what your typical day looks like. Are you ready? Me too. All the details are listed below. I hope that you'll join me in making your life immediately better, healthier, and happier this year.